Launching your website is always exciting and what better way to generate some buzz than create a coming soon page to let people know that something exciting is on the way. In today's video, you will learn how to password protect your WordPress website while under development. I will show you how to password protect your full WordPress website as well as only specific pages. Hi, my name is Chris from Seedprod, the number one landing page for WordPress. Seedprod has a built-in drag and drop editor that lets you build many different types of landing pages really easily. Please subscribe to this channel to follow Seedprod and learn more about how it can create fantastic landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is come to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install Seedprod. So let's go ahead and you can check the link in the description or you can head over to seedprod.com and we're going to use the pro license. So go ahead and click get seedprod, grab yourself a pro license. And then once you've created an account, let's click on login. On the left, you'll see the email address and password for your account. Enter those and then just click the login button. In the seedprod dashboard, we're gonna click on downloads and then to download the plugin itself, we're gonna click the orange button here to download it. We also require the license key, so you can copy that or you can just click the little icon here to do so. We're done with this page, so we can close it for now. Let's come back to our dashboard, go to plugins, add new. Let's go to upload plugin and you can drag and drop this right here onto the choose file or you can click this and select the plugin from your hard drive. Let's click on install now and let's go to activate plugin. Next, let's paste our license key here and click on verify key. You should see a green success message here. We're done with this little tab down here so you can close this if you have that. And on the left side, you'll see seed prod now in the menu. You can click on pages. We'll see all our different types of modes that seed prod offers as well as the landing pages down below. So if we take a look at our website, we can see this is the default WordPress website. And now we can actually just activate our coming soon mode, but we haven't chose a template or designed our coming soon page. And this video is gonna focus more on the functionality of adding a password. I do have other videos that discuss design and layout. So you can check those out for how to design an actual coming soon mode page. So if we did not add a page and we just activated it, this would just turn into a blank page. Now you're always gonna see this if you're logged in, it's only for people who are not logged in. So let's quickly just add a coming soon page. So we'll just select one of these. I'll select the wood one here and you can just click the check mark. You can also create one from scratch with a blank template if you want. So there we go, we can save this and let's just exit. And now let's activate the coming soon mode. And now it'll be active when you see the little orange banner up here in the top right. Let's go to our front page again, but this time let's log out and head back home. There, now we can see our coming soon page. Now the problem with this is there's no password field, so we're gonna to have to add one. If you're an administrator or an editor or have some type of role for WordPress, you will see the website and not this page. But sometimes you wanna give a password to maybe a design client or some other client and you wanna show them something specific. That way you can just give them a password, they can enter the password here and get access to the page. Okay, so I logged back in and now we can click on edit page. And now we wanna add a password field, I'll just put one in right here. So Seedprod has a built-in short code that we can use. So let's scroll down and select custom HTML from the advanced blocks. Let's drag this over to where we want it. There's a little spacer here. I'm just gonna delete that as well. And then click on here and we're going to put in this little piece of code. I'll put this in the description for you so you can copy and paste it if you want. So now after we add the short code, it will have the password field added. So we can save this. Let's just do a quick preview. And there you can see it here. Now again, we're not worried about the design right now, just the functionality. Now to add an actual password to this, we can go to page settings and go to access control. And right here, we can go to the bypass URL and we can say secret password or whatever. You want this to be a unique password for people to use. Now this also controls where we show this actual password field or the coming soon page. So we can show it on the entire website. That's what we're doing right now. But you can also just include it on specific URLs. So let's go back and we'll save this. And I'm going to exit out and I'm going to test the password. So I'll come back here and log out. And now I should have a password. So if I type in secret and hit enter, that'll now bypass and let me see the page. So this is a great way to give a password to a client so that they can access the page without showing it to the world. Okay, now say we only wanna add this to one specific page. The first thing we wanna do is check out our pages. Now we have the sample page, these come with WordPress, but we could create another one, right? So we can just say test page and we can just say publish. And I'm just gonna take this URL right here and then we'll come back to the dashboard. So now we have a third page here that we can play with. So let's come back to seed prod, pages, and now we wanna go back to edit page for coming soon mode. And then of course we wanna come back to page settings and the, the access control. So right here, instead of the entire website, we wanna include URLs. So let's just paste this URL right here. And now let's click save. And we can close this. And I'm going to go back to the front page. 
So now we can see that it's activated. We have the, the orange banner, so make sure that coming soon mode is active. And now we'll log out and I'll go back to the front page. And now this page is completely visible, right? Because we only added it to the test page. So now if I visit the test page, we can see that that password is only protected on this one page. So if I put in the secret password secret and click enter, there you go, you can access that. Now, the one thing you might notice is that that test page was protected, but it redirected us back to the made page. So you actually have to put in the URL again. However, you can actually make a little change to that short code. So let me show you that right now. So back on the pages, let's go to edit page. And we want to edit this little short code, the seed bypass form. So now I'll leave this in the description as well. So this is the same short code, but now we have a return value and there's a little quote here and one right here. So make sure you enter those. And then we just want to change this URL with the page that we want to return to. So after they enter the password, this will return them back to this test page or whatever page you want. Maybe you want them to a totally different area as well. So this one, after they enter their password, will return back to the same page that they entered the password on. All right, let's go ahead and test this. So here I am on the test page. You can see that. Let's enter our secret password. And when I hit enter, this will redirect me to the test page. I hope this video helped you learn how to password protect your WordPress website while under development. This video focused more on functionality and not design and layout. Check out this video if you'd like to learn how to customize a password protected page in WordPress. It'll walk you through each step and show you just how easy it is to use Seedprod to create landing pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.